Hello and welcome back to Blood Bowl 2. Last time we played a game against a team of lizards, but that was not the last game for the Blood Bowls of History. You see, the Blood Bowls of History played a game, literally like, to me, a couple moments ago, where we played a player named Here There Be Horns. And I want you all right now to shed a small tear for Here There Be Horns. Because Here There Be Horns was a very low level chaos player. And he became a little angry at the fact that he was playing the Blood Bowlers of History, who were very high level, and rage quit out of the game. I know. One single tear of sadness. Quite unfortunate. Anyway, we're gonna forget about Here There Be Horns now, because, I mean, eh, you know. He's Here There Be Horns. He'll be fine. Um, we'll go to our team roster. We leveled up a few people. Sun Tzu leveled up with an extra agility. Uh, Nobunaga got a block. William Wallace is back in the game now. Very nice. And Queen Victoria also leveled up to get guard. So we are in a good position. We've also got 1,600 gold smackers. So we're just going to get in with blah, 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 blah. We're just going to get in with the blood bowlers of history and see what we can do. Okay, who do I... Oh, we have press F to pay respects. A 1400 level dwarf team. I get this strange feeling that he's going to try to kill all of our players. Hello, Bloodwiser babe. Hello, second Bloodwiser babe. Welcome to the team. Just in case we start getting absolutely wrecked. Oh my lord. Next. He's got a lot of cash to play with, but let's look at what the opposing team is. They have a death roller. Let's check out the team roster. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Look at these dwarves. Oh, no. Pretty much all of them have mighty blow t and tackle. Oh, no. And there's c, -c, c combo Breaker, who is eh, not that good. I mean, in terms of death rollers, he's not that good. In terms of general players, I mean, a death roller is always impressive. I mean, you just gotta go with it. Okay. Here we go. I'm expecting quite a few punches to the face here, people. Okay, where are we? Ah, oh, the history bowl! Woo! Okay, we've already seen the dwarves. We've already seen our team. Nobody cares. Flip the coin, people! What do we got? Oh, looks like they're going to get the ball. Okay. We're going to have to punch our way through a bunch of dwarves, I guess. Not really the best, but, you know, got to go with it regardless. Thinking about it, they didn't have any troll hunters, did they? No, I don't think they did. That's pretty good for us. They're the ones who naturally have frenzy, so... Hey, uh, mate. Aw, oh, he seems like a nice guy. Okay, let's check. No, no troll hunters. So they don't have any frenzy, which is good for us. We can set up in a more conservative build. We'll have Otto von Bismarck in the game as the catcher. We'll have William Wallace over yonder. Queen Victoria's over there. We'll have Otto von Bismarck. Let's actually switch... Queen Victoria out for there. And this is, well, I, I I was about to say this is the harder one to take down, but in reality, since they all have tackle, it's pretty much the same. Okay, that's probably good. We'll confirm that setup and see how they go. What do you want to do, my friend? Did we actually set that up properly? No, we didn't. Dumb. Dumb, I didn't put Nobunaga on the front lines! Oh. Nobunaga was supposed to be on the front lines. Wow, this is an aggressive setup. Then again, he is a bunch of dwarves, so I think he has every reason to be aggressive about his setup. Ugh. So dude doesn't really have a weak side, does he? No, it doesn't look like it. Eh. Which is our strong side? This is our strong side. So let's kick over to the upper left, which always seems to be the direction we kick. I don't even know. 
Yeah. Let's see how it it goes. He's hoping for a warm up. What a prick. Oh, no touchback. That's nice. Okay. Let's see what his dwarves pull against us. Oh, we're gonna stand firm. I don't want to give any ground here. Give no ground at all. Disgusting, Death Roller. You failed to knock down Attila the Hun. Admittedly, you're both about the same size, but you do have spikes, so that is significant. Hmm. What do we got here? Oh, if only we had put Nobunaga in the right position, we would be okay. Machiavelli! Bye, Machiavelli. Okay, um, w what are you gonna do to Sun Tzu? You're gonna kill Sun Tzu too? Uh, Sun Tzu wouldn't appreciate that. Let's see. Well, he failed to take him down this time, which is good. I enjoy that. Get out of here, you dwarf. Oh no. Attila's in a bad position, isn't he? Not really the best. Three in a row. Oh, get out of here, mate. Get out of here. This guy's, this guy's some sort of chump. Just like one of those chumps that just goes like, oh, it's time, it's time for us to have a nice little chat with the opponent. Um. Let's let him push us, actually. Where do you want us to go, huh? I really don't think that any of the positions are any better than where we were to start. I mean that anything was worse. Oh, no. He had a dude there, didn't he? Probably should have thought about that one. Um, let's let him push us out of that pocket of death. That'll be fine. I probably should have stood firm in that situation. Thinking about it now. Realizing the situation. That was a bad move. Attila, note it as a bad move. Put it down in your logs. Attila the Hun does make logs, by the way. He's that kind of guy. And then, you know, figure it out. Hmm. Well, we're not gonna win by punches, so we're gonna have to win by points. Let's see what we can do. Okay. He's going to pick up the ball and run it over there. Risky. Mate, that's not where you want the ball to be. Are you joking right now, mate? You joking me? Okay, let's start with a quick stand-up of Attila the Hun. That'll give us a good hit on this dwarf. But before we pull that, we want to pull our clever little maneuver here. We'll move Cleopatra out to here. And that should give us a solid, easy two-die block against this dwarf. Prepare to get wrecked, dwarf! You're done. You're done! And you followed up. This is what confidence gets you, mate! Not just confidence, but he was downright cocky about the entire thing. Come on, kid, you don't play cocky against the blood bowlers of history. You know what happens when that happens? You get wrecked! Okay, okay, I see. Um, let's push him into there. Push him that way. And we're not gonna follow him up, because that'd be ridiculous. Are you kidding? I ain't following that guy up. Hmm. Let's see. Lenin's over here, so he can move into this position. Try to stop the enemy players from getting to the ball. That would be a good position, but it's going to require going for it. We'll have William Wallace close in on one of these dwarves. This easy match for him doesn't seem to be going so easily, does it? No, seems like things aren't working out for you anymore. You're going to suffer. Suffer for your insolence. Now go, Otto. 
Don't fall down, please. Good job. We got a little screen here. Not a big screen, just a little screen. Enough of a screen. And we'll move our players up around this way slightly. We'll have one go that way. We'll have Nobunaga try to pull around in this direction. Leaving Attila the Hun and Sun Tzu to suffer a fate unknown to um, really anyone at this point. It's a, it's a pretty sad fate. We'll level with you. We'll also move Queen Anne around. And he doesn't look like he's in such a good position anymore, does he? No, you don't look like you're in a good position. Got your dwarves down. I got players going for the ball all across the board. You, my friend, are going to suffer quite a sad defeat. That is the situation. Oh, yeah? Going for Attila, eh? Don't go for Attila, are you kidding? None of your players even have guard, mate. Pretty confident going for Attila right now. I mean, I'm about to have that ball like nobody's business. You do realize that. I hope they realize that, because if they don't realize that, then they're kind of dumb. Yeah, you're going to pull a 17% chance to dodge? Oh, uh, what? How do you make a 17% chance to dodge? Does break tackle... Is break tackle just not taken into account when they calculate the chance to dodge? Because that would be dumb. That would be really dumb. But it kind of seems that way, unfortunately. Stand firm, Cleopatra. Give no ground. Oh, you're injured. Thanks for giving ground, Cleopatra. You're the worst. Oh yeah, they're going for Attila the Hun next. Pretty sure it's gonna be a one-die block. Because they didn't take out Sun Tzu. Which is unfortunate for them, really. Quite unfortunate, indeed. Really gonna move over there. You're insane. This guy is insane. Like, legitimately, though. He's not gonna get that ball out of there. Um, Jingle Bomb Stomp appears to have failed to wreck Attila. Uh, not quite, mate. <laughs> Jingle Bomb just got wrecked. Oh, that's what you get. Jingle Bomb is done. Jingle Bomb is dead. Oh, no. Poor Jingle Bomb. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Oh, we got this. We got this in the bag, mate. Okay, we have to pull out a sacrificial lamb here. Sometimes you have to have a sacrificial lamb to succeed in the long run. We've got that. We'll have a t we'll have William Wallace pull a quick hit against this guy. Trust me, I got all the maneuvers figured out. We'll hit there and we'll... Let's not go up to that death roller. As I'm thinking about it, probably a bad idea. And we're going to have Queen Victoria blitz running the Burl. And he's going to get hit right back into William Wallace, and we're going to follow that up. Bada boom. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Okay. We somehow need to get Otto von Bismarck into a position where he can actually do something. It will not be easy, I assure you. Plus one strength. You can hit this guy with Attila, but that's, that's Attila trying to pull a hit here. Not the best idea in the world. We can get a one-die block by getting Queen Anne into a position over here with um, Otto von Bismarck here. Which is pretty much what we want in any situation. Yeah, that's fine. And we're gonna stay where we are there. Perfect. We're then gonna pull Joan of Arc over to here. 
Who is this? I can't tell. Ah, it's Lennon. Joan of Arc's gonna move over here, and we're gonna do a two die block against this guy. Good enough. Just be a little push that way. We'll stay where we are. Um, then we need to pull some swift hits out of our hat here. We'll have Attila the Hun do a two die block against this guy. Solid enough. You're done, Brewfest Barry. Stay where you are. Bada boom! Injured. Done. You cannot tussle with Attila the Hun. Don't you even try to tussle with Attila the Hun here. Attila the Hun's a beast. And we do still have a um, team reroll. So we'll hit this guy. Not like that, Sun Tzu! There we go, that's the right hit. Hit him back and follow him up out of the danger zone. There we go, solid. That's a pretty solid turn. We've got uh, two players. They can't get all of our players off of the ball this turn because they're gonna need to use two blitzes to get them off. Not the best for them, unfortunately. So we'll have to see what they do. They're definitely gonna try to run over Queen Victoria with a death roller. There's not really much of a question about that. It's not gonna be good for Queen Victoria, that's for sure. Where is our Dauntless? Where beeth thou? You're right there. Solid. So if we can get Dauntless in there and get some solid hits against the Death Roller, that would be ideal. Right now his players are going down as they're trying to tussle with um, Attila the Hun over here. Not really the best for them. Not really the best. Oh yeah, bring it. Bring it, Roller! Queen Victoria is ready. <laughs> All right, combo, it's on. You better get it. Okay, oh, I see, that's an interesting maneuver. Would not have expected that. Oh, that's why he's called Combo Breaker. Victoria, no! Queen Victoria is now dead. Solid combo, mate. <laughs> dead. Dead as a doornail! <laughs> The worst! <laughs> I know! <laughs> so bad, mate. Sorry, not bass. I said so bass. It's bad. <laughs> oh, that was not good. Queen Victoria is now dead. Um, um, that's gonna hurt our team quite a bit, actually. That's, that's pretty bad. That's bad, bro. That's bad. We also don't have another Apothecary. Also very bad. Mm, not the best situation. Not liking our prospects so far, mate. It's going against William Wallace. Oh yeah? That's enough. That's enough. Now go for it, please. Wallace! <laughs> loses one point in armor value! Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! No! <laughs> Swiggity, come on. What? <laughs> that is an un... Oh, I don't even understand that roll. Solid hit from Swiggity Swiggity, who uh, took down Attila. This is quite a game. Oh my lord. This is the end of the Blood Bowl's history right here. Oh my lord. We're gonna have to work hard to get back from this one. Let's see what we can do. Get a two die block here. That'll be fine. Okay, you can just not knock him down, that's okay. 
You can uh, stay where you are. Uh, let's get a, that's gonna be a one die block. This is also gonna be a one die block, but I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't know, okay? I don't know. Just don't fail. There we go. Knock him that way. Uh, just stay where you are. Boom! Let's have um, Blitzer Queen Ann pull a one die block hit here. Solid hit. Knock him back and follow him up. Bada boom! We need to be dealing some serious injuries to these dwarves. Although, this is dwarves we're talking about. It's not likely to happen. When you actually think about it, it's unlikely. And follow that dwarf up. Yeah. Oh my lord. Take down as many as you possibly can. Yeah. Let's do that one die block we can hit here. I'm just going on a death rampage. It's death rampage time! Oh yes. Stay where we are. Boom! You know, at the end of the entire Death Rampage, I don't feel very good about what happened. Um, it really didn't change anything, did it? It's kind of like... It's, it's kind of like it, it was just next to worthless to go on a Death Rampage. At the same time, it's not like I can get the ball. I mean, are, are you serious? My lord. Where are you gonna go? Oh, you're gonna go right back over to Sun Tzu? Wow, glutton for punishment. Glutton for punishment. Admittedly, though, when you think about it, Swiggity Swiggity has a huge chance of taking down Attila the Hun. He has a massive chance of doing it because Attila the Hun doesn't have block. Swiggity Swiggity has block. What's our chances? All right, come. Not auto! Not auto! Hot auto! No! Oh. Well, that's kind of the ideal situation there, isn't it? Dude doesn't have tackle. Oh, he's going again. No, auto! What's gonna happen to auto? What's gonna happen to auto? Oh, he's fine. Oh. Otto von Bismarck is just a boss, mate. He just doesn't care, does he? I mean, terrible things happen to Otto all the time. And Otto's just like, psh, I'm fine, mate. Otto may be my favorite player on the team. Maybe. He is... Do we have a previous best player on the team? Is that even a thing? I don't feel like it is. I mean, we had Napoleon for the worst, but who was the best? Don't even recall. He's going with Swiggity again. Oh, that is good enough. That is good enough. Um. Swiggity's the worst. <laughs> Attila! You can't do that, Attila! <laughs> Oh my lord! What in the world? God. How do we even? I mean, I know that's not a full sentence, but how do we even? Oh my lord, we're done. It's over. <laughs> Just... I, I can't keep this up, mate. If I keep this up, we're not gonna have a team left. Oh my lord. Kill the dwarves, please. Make them die. Why can't we just get like swords and just cut them to pieces? I don't care at all about the concept of fair play at this point. I just want it dead. I just want it dead. Why would you do that, Queen Anne? Thank you, Queen Anne. You've done well. Stay. Okay. Okay. No, we're fine, we're fine. We're gonna calm down. We're gonna get through this. 
Are we gonna get through this? I don't know if we're gonna get through this, but we're gonna try to get through this. Stay where you are. Who do we have here? Nobunaga? With some sort of disgusting three die block going on there. Oh, chances of taking that guy down are slim. Slim to none. One die punches like that. We have no other choice. <laughs> it's the only option. We have to take the one die punches. Okay. What we can do. Oh, that's a two die red block. I ain't doing a two die red block there. Yeah, I know. I know I can concede. I am going at it. I don't go down without a fight! Come on, Lennon. Don't fail it. Good job, Lennon. Good job, Lennon! Stay where you are, Lennon. Don't move from that spot. Two direct block for the win! Nah, eh, it's not great. That's pretty bad. I noticed that strat. I saw that. The blood bowlers of history are feeling the pain. It is a very solid death squad. Oh no. Auto! Auto! No! Auto! Stay with us, boy! Stay with us! We're gonna have to see what happens to Otto von Bismarck here. We're definitely not staying past the first half. That's not even a question. <laughs> when the first half comes, we concede regardless. If we get another injury, we're also gonna concede because, I mean, our team is just <laughs> going down left, right, and center. We've got two injuries, one death. Oh, it's not good. What's going on here? Nobunaga's going down? Good luck, Nobunaga. Well, there's the injury. Nobunaga, why? No, Lenin! Not Lenin! Not! Oh, Lenin is KO'd, no. Oh, look at all the bells! <laughs> He's been KO'd so many times! Here we go, Otto, stand strong! Oh, that's Otto standing strong there. Woo! Otto just don't care! Yeah, you're gonna go up against Queen Anne? I wonder what witty statement he'll have this time. Oh, it's just a push. It's just a push! Woo! Um... We got four players on this team. I went, I'm, I'm just gonna... Well, mate! Um... You play well. Unfortunately, the blood bowlers of history have other battles to fight. We're conceding. I'm not even going to go there. We have to concede. It's over. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. <laughs> I'm so close to seeing what happens when you can't line three. <laughs> you have a good point, but we're out of here. GG. <laughs> oh my lord, what a game. Concede. Well, that was painful for the Blood Bowlers of history. Luckily, I mean, I did... Not luckily. There's nothing luckily about that game. I mean, I saw that coming when we uh, started the game. Press F to pay respects just said everything. That hurt. That hurt a lot. We probably shouldn't have stuck around nearly as long as we did. But it was... Oh no, look at our bench. No. No, look at all the injuries. 
William Wallace is like dead at this point. He's got an adds one to subsequent injury rolls and loses one armor value. Oh my lord. Nobunaga. Nobunaga is missing the next game, so that's not that bad. We're gonna have to get ourselves a new blitzer, which I don't think we have the cash for. Nope. No cash. Oh, we're gonna have a really bad next game, aren't we? It's gonna be the worst. Haha. <laughs> well, with that, um, we come to the end of the episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed watching us die terribly to a bunch of dwarves, um, like and subscribe. Uh, next time, we'll go up against another team, hopefully not a team of dwarves, and we're gonna get wrecked because pretty much none of our players are in the game anymore. Luckily, Otto's still there. It'll be fine. So until next time, thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.